This is a mess. Eamon Holmes blasts labor for allowing early release for prisoners, things will never be the same. Eamon Holmes has blasted labor's prison release scheme as a mess, with thousands of criminals set to be freed today. More than 1,200 prisoners jailed for over five years are due to be released early from prisons across England and Wales. This marks the second wave of early releases aimed at alleviating the overcrowding crisis. Speaking to Shadow Secretary of State for Business and Trade Kevin Hallrake on GB News, Eamon said, It is hard to think of a polite way to put this. It's a mess. What you're replacing and what you're introducing, it's not making up the difference. That's the thing, Kevin. We're in a very bad situation. What's the long-term answer? I mean, you're hardly likely to double or treble the places available, are you? Hallrake responded, You're right about that. And it was a mess last time when Labour released prisoners, including 37 prisoners who weren't supposed to be released. They've got to be able to do their job more competently, and we did see some flaws last time. Eamon later said, Things will not be the same after this and people will be able to commit crime knowing they're not going to be put behind bars. The scheme, which allows eligible inmates to serve 40% rather than 50% of their sentences, has faced criticism for potentially undermining efforts to reduce reoffending and maintain public safety. The early release scheme, known as SDS-40, was expanded to include prisoners serving sentences of five years or more. Justice Minister Lord Timpson stated that authorities are, as ready as we can be, for today's releases. The scheme aims to create up to 5,500 extra prison places. Eligible prisoners have been steadily leaving jails since the changes were implemented. Those released will be subject to strict license conditions. However, Martin Jones, Chief Inspector of Probation, warned that the scheme's effectiveness could be undermined by high recall rates. He noted that for every 100 prisoners released in the first quarter of this year, 56 were recalled to jail for reoffending or breaching license conditions. The Ministry of Justice has acknowledged that overcrowding had pushed jails to the point of collapse. In a heated discussion on his recent broadcast, veteran journalist and presenter Eamon Holmes did not hold back as he criticized the Labour Party for their controversial decision to allow early release for prisoners. His impassioned remarks ignited a fiery debate surrounding public safety, rehabilitation, and the future of criminal justice in the UK. Holmes, who has built a reputation for his straightforward commentary, opened the segment by stating, This is a mess. The government's approach to managing prison populations is reckless. His comments come in the wake of Labour's new policies aimed at addressing the ongoing issue of prison overcrowding, which have raised concerns among the public and law enforcement alike. The Labour government argues that early release programs are essential for providing inmates with a second chance at life and reintegrating them into society. However, Holmes countered this narrative, emphasizing the potential risks associated with releasing individuals who may still pose a threat to the community. What message are we sending when we prioritize rehabilitation over safety? Things will never be the same if we keep this up, he declared. The backdrop to this controversy is a national prison system struggling with overcrowding and limited resources. Many facilities are operating well beyond capacity, prompting officials to seek solutions that balance the needs of inmates with the imperative to protect the public. Critics of the early release policies worry that the government's focus on reducing numbers might come at the expense of thorough assessments of individual cases. Holmes highlighted specific instances where early release has led to reoffending, sharing statistics that suggest a significant proportion of released prisoners return to criminal activities shortly after their release. We have to be realistic about the consequences of our decisions, he said. Every time we let someone out early, we risk putting more innocent people in harm's way. The discussion on the show quickly gained traction on social media, with viewers expressing both support and opposition to Holmes's comments. Supporters praised him for shedding light on a crucial issue, while others accused him of fear-mongering. It's important to have these conversations, but we also need to look at the bigger picture, one viewer tweeted, highlighting the complexities of the criminal justice system. Labor representatives responded to Holmes's criticism by asserting their commitment to a balanced approach. We believe in giving people a chance to change, a spokesperson said stressing that the policies include rigorous evaluations and support programs designed to help released prisoners reintegrate successfully. Rehabilitation is essential for reducing crime in the long run, they added. However, the opposition has seized on Holmes's comments as evidence of Labour's mismanagement. Conservative party members have called for a re-evaluation of the policies, emphasizing that public safety must come first. We cannot afford to experiment with people's lives, 
a conservative MP remarked, the Labour Party needs to take a step back and reconsider their approach. As the debate rages on, it is clear that public sentiment is divided. Many citizens express frustration with the state of the justice system, feeling that their safety is being compromised in the name of reform. Others advocate for more progressive measures, arguing that rehabilitation should be prioritized to prevent recidivism in the long term. Holmes's commentary has not only sparked discussions about prison policies but has also raised questions about how society views crime and punishment. The clash between safety and rehabilitation remains a contentious issue, and as more details about the early release policies emerge, it is likely to remain in the headlines. Looking ahead, the government may need to navigate the tricky waters of public opinion while addressing the logistical challenges facing the prison system. With rising concerns over crime rates and community safety, officials are under increasing pressure to find solutions that satisfy all stakeholders involved. In conclusion, Eamon Holmes's forthright criticism of labor's early release policies underscores the broader societal concerns surrounding crime, safety, and rehabilitation. As this debate continues to unfold, it will be essential for policymakers to consider all perspectives and work towards solutions that ensure both public safety and the possibility of redemption for offenders. The ongoing conversation is a testament to the complexities of the criminal justice system, and it is clear that more dialogue is needed to navigate this challenging issue effectively. Ruth Langsford's cheeky swipe at Eamon Holmes as she ditches old bits of tad. While on Loose Women Ruth Langsford made a cheeky dig at her ex Eamon Holmes as she revealed she was getting rid of tat as the couple continue with divorce proceedings. Loose Women star Ruth Langsford made a cheeky dig at her soon-to-be ex-husband Eamon Holmes during a discussion about hoarding. The presenter, 64, announced her marriage to the GB News host was over in May, ending 14 years of marriage, and Eamon has since moved on and is now dating Katie Alexander, who is 22 years younger than him. During a discussion about antiques, Ruth took the opportunity to jokingly poke fun at her split. She told the studio audience, I'm throwing out a lot of stuff out at the minute, and on the back of her comment, the audience erupted into laughter. The mum of one's comment comes after Eamon was seen looking cozy with Katie as they attended a pal and fellow presenter, Haley Sparks' wedding. Posing for pictures, the couple appeared full of beans as they smiled for the camera. Also in attendance was a place in the Sun star Laura Hamilton. Katie and Eamon's relationship appears to be going from strength to strength as they were pictured enjoying a cruise around the Mediterranean last month. And she reportedly told those close that she is in it for the long haul. In one picture, Eamon was spotted placing a hand lovingly on Katie's bottom as the pair docked in the Spanish party island of Ibiza. Their lavish holiday came just four months after Eamon and Ruth announced their split. During their marriage, Eamon and Ruth became fan favorites across the UK while presenting this morning due to their openness and bickering on screen. However, while their on screen spats would usually be seen as cracks in a relationship, they had always maintained it was a form of endearment. In May, a joint statement announcing their shock split was released that read Ruth Langsford and Eamon Holmes have confirmed their marriage is over and they are in the process of divorcing. At the time, a source told The Sun, they are determined to stay friends and keep things amicable. Ruth's attempt to not become a hoarder was put into practice recently when she swiftly got rid of Eamon's stair lift from their home in Surrey, but she failed to inform the presenter who needed to visit his former marital home. In September, Ruth reportedly managed to exact revenge on her estranged husband Eamon Holmes after he asked if he could pop by their former marital home to collect holiday clothes. After agreeing, Ruth reportedly omitted that she had removed the 2,400 euros, 2,000 pounds, stair lift making it difficult for the wheelchair user Eamon to climb the curved staircase at his former 4.2 million euros, 3.5 million pounds, home in Weybridge, Surrey. At the time, Ruth was not at the property but a source told the Daily Mail. Ruth has remained quiet and classy. Even when not people bring up what Eamon has been up to, she stays silent and just smiles. She thinks that is the best way. She has had a lot of support from her friends, but one thing she would see every day was the stair lift which Eamon installed. They added, Ruth doesn't need it. She's super fit and healthy but she knew Eamon probably would struggle when he had to go the house to get some bits he needed for the holiday. The bedrooms are upstairs and he needed to get to them. It might seem petty but Ruth's friends think it is absolutely hilarious as they think he has really taken her for a ride.